Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be talking about common JS modules and how we could use them in Node. So typically in a Node application, you don't have all of your code in a single file. It's usually broken up into a bunch of smaller files that you then import throughout your app. And all those other files are called modules. And a module is just basically a file that exports some code. So let's create a module called functions.js. And in here, we'll just add a function called add, which takes two numbers and returns them added. And we'll just come down here and log the module. And now let's run the file with node functions.js. And you should see the module object printed. And this is just an object that gives you some details about the current module that you're in. And it has things like the path and some other info. But what we want is this exports object. By default, each module has an exports property and it's equal to an empty object. And anytime we want to export something from the module, we need to add it to this object. So we could just come down here and do module.exports and that's equal to this object or property here. And we just want to add a property to it. So we'll call the property add and we'll set it equal to this add function here. So now that we've added this, let's move the log below it and we'll rerun the file. And you should see that this exports object now has a new property called add and it's equal to a function. So now that we've added this to the exports object, we could come back to our app and to import a module, we need to call the require method. So let's just call that. And inside we want to do the path to the file. And I'm just gonna log this so you could see what this returns. So if I save that and I'm just gonna hide the log from the other file and then we'll run node app.js and you should see this exports object. If I come back here and uncomment this out and run this again, we can see that this object here is equivalent to the exports object up here. And so the require method in the app returns the modules exports property. So typically you don't do it in line like this. You'd go to the top and do something like const functions equals require and the file name. And then, so this functions variable is equal to that object. So then if we wanted to use that method, we would call functions dot add and then pass in our numbers. So then if we rerun our app, we could see three there. So if we go back to the functions and we want to add another function or another property, we can just go and do module dot exports and let's just say name and that'll be equal to a string. And we'll just do test. And if we just rerun this, you'll see that that will also get added to the exports object right there. So if we go back to the app, since this require method returns an object, we could come in here and just destructure add, and then we can just call that there. So if we run the app again, that should still print out three. We could also rename um, the function so we can just call it new name and then just use that in here. And that should all still work fine. And also, if we only have one thing we want to export, like say this function is the only thing we have in this file that we want to export, we could just set the entire module.exports object to the function we want to export. So if we just do that and let's first log that object. So if we come in here, you could see that the exports property is no longer an object. It's just a function. And that's the function that we set it equal to here. So if this is the default export, we could come back to the app and we'll just call this um, add. We 
we no longer have to destructure add or call functions dot add because this returns this function here. So the require method returns the export property, which is just a function, and we're capturing that here, and then we're calling it. So we'll just hit save and run the app, and that should all still work. If you guys want to add exports to a module, you just need to add those properties to the module.exports um, property. And then wherever you want to import it, you call require, and then it, it'll return that exports object, and you would just grab whatever functions you need off of it. So that's pretty much it. And it's a pretty basic video, but I hope it was still helpful. And thank you guys so much for watching. And please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And also let me know in the comments what you guys want to see next. So thanks again, and I'll see you guys in the next one.